alone. Yeah, but, you know, exactly. Yeah. Hell hath no fury, as they say, but somebody's up to something. Hmm. <clears throat> Would you rather, if we could change history, that I'd be interviewing Jack Lemon, the piano player, the great concert pianist? <laughs> no, but... I mean, that was always secondary to me, uh, uh, music. It's been a great source of joy in my life because uh, I, I play the piano every day. and some, some, I can sit and play for an hour, for instance, and then Felicia will come in and say, uh, how long are we going to hold dinner? And I'll say, well, we've been here five minutes. She'll say, five minutes? It's been an hour and a half or whatever. It's, it's a source of great joy, yeah, a great outlet for me. I think a lot of actors uh, uh, and other people, if there is a talent, there's, an, there's a, at least a half another talent going along. A lot of actors are good writers, painters especially. A lot of actors will paint too. It's an outlet, and a great outlet. I can't read. I wish I could. My son Chris has a degree in music and composition from uh, Cal Arts School of Music, which is a good school of music. And he really knows what he's doing, and he teaches me a lot. But uh, uh, to me, it, it, it's always been secondary. Clint Eastwood oh, used to play for beers at the Omar Club up in Oakland. Do you ever do that? Yeah, sure. I, I played at a joint called the Old Nick, the Old Nick Music Hall on, uh, what was it, 2nd or 3rd? 2nd Avenue in New York, uh, way back in the 40s when I first started. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, some weeks we didn't get paid because there wouldn't be enough people in there to, to give us anything. Sometimes you get maybe five bucks. We'd split what, whatever was left at, on Saturday night. But... You got a piece of chicken and some French fries every night. That was the big win. That's what counts. Got a, got, a, got a meal. How about the theater versus film? What would be your choice if you could theater. say, you, if you could Strangely afford to do enough. it and did that gets the most gratification? Sure. It's the most gratifying. Uh, obviously, I love film and I have concentrated more on film, but I always, every couple of years, I do a play somewhere or other. I think it's good for you, first of all, uh, the regimen of it. Uh, the use of your entire body, the fact that you have to be in really top shape mm -hmm. emotionally and physically just for that two and a half to three hours as a verse to a full day of shooting because that's it, man. That curtain goes up and boom, yeah. it's opening night for that audience. You know, whether you've been doing it for a year like I did with Tribute, for instance, before we did the film or not. And the, the regimen of it, the, the feedback of a real audience Everything, using your entire body. There's no close-ups, uh, etc. Were you a serious young boy, or uh, were you a class clown kind of guy? I think I was serious underneath, but I think I was a class clown. I've read something here. I think it must be hilarious. You did impressions of famous people snoring? Yeah. I don't know why, but I did. I don't see I how that would work. Snores. I mean, I can't do them now. I had about 15 different snores. I, I'd do them between classes at school. And they'd say, okay, well, come back with another one tomorrow. Now I'd go crazy. Now I'm not doing homework or anything. I'm trying to come up with some other snore. I had the freight trains with my <laughs> long, slow ones until I'd almost black out before I'd stop the snore and the fast ones <laughs> that would wake you up or, or whatever. I, 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 and people crawling, oh, having awful. ants crawling all over their body. That's another thing you did? What was that? It said, uh, and another <laughs> lemon pretended to have ants crawling all over his body. I probably did. I probably did. I've forgotten that one, but I wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> you know what it was? I, I found a way to be accepted. Yeah, it was just a matter of way kids. to fit in. Yeah. Uh, if they thought I was funny when I told stories, I'd make these stories up and, and, yeah. and tell them. And they say, hey, that's great. Do it, do it again. It was purely, it was not talent will out at all. It, I don't think at all. I think it was purely and simply I found a way to be accepted by my peers. And I kept it up. And then I fell in love with acting. It must have been a fun as an actor to be with these other really Olympic level athlete actors in a film like Glengarry. Oh, uh, best cast I ever worked with. And that's it quite really a statement is. in Flat yourself. Out. I'm, 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 you know, that's a, a, r a rather rash statement with uh, some of the people I've worked with. But it is true. It's the best all round cast I have ever worked with. I just cannot imagine. Now that it's all over and done with, and I've seen the film several times, I can't see any other actor in the world in any of the other parts. That's my feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. It's quite, you know, it's, it's quite a performance, and you know, I'm sure it'll be recognized as such because it's just great for the audience. Oh, thank you. 
how do you want to be remembered when, the, when it's all over with? And what do you want them to say about Jack Lemmon? Well, hopefully that he was uh, uh, an actor that could be remembered. <laughs> um, I've, I've, my main concern, as it is probably with, with most people, is not awards or this and that. It's, it's the body of the work. That when people think of it, they won't think specifically of a Some Like It Hot or a Glen Gary alone, you know, or one or two films, but that there was a body of work of both comedic and, and, and drama that was of worth, you know, and some of the films, fortunately, uh, and not due to me, because primarily it would be due to the writer, but that I was part of what successfully made people think. There is that aspect, too. In other words, you can go beyond just entertaining. I think Glenn Gary does it, and make you think where you might not have thought specifically had you not seen that particular work, or read that novel, or read that poem, or even a painting that can move you and make you think in a certain direction, you know. Uh, what happens then is I think you take a craft and move it up to a level of art. Well, you're an actor's actor, Mr. Lemon. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. I see you. Thank you. All right.